let's face it most likely you will be only opening leadcode.com when you have a tech interview coming up right and in fact lead code is the gold standard when it comes to preparing for coding interviews because it has so many problems and so many variations of all the questions that are being asked by these tech companies correct and given the fact that you have so little time and so many distractions around you even selecting which problem to solve this can become a basic hurdle so you must understand how to use lead code effectively and we are going to see what we can do about it hello friends welcome back to my channel so surely i cannot cover each and everything in a single video but i will try to tell you all the tricks that have been helpful for me personally and i know that there is a premium plan on lead code as well which feels that it can give a better guidance but trust me even with the free plan you can try to get maximum benefits i will create a separate video on the premium plan and its feature sometime later but for now let's get started okay to start things off i would first of all highly highly recommend you to go and create an account on lead code because once you have an account it gives you a nice dashboard where you can see what difficulty problems are you solving how many are easy how many are medium and how many are hard and along with that it will also give you a collection of all the problems that you have submitted it will tell you how many were accepted how many were rejected and how many total problems have you solved and if you look to the left you can actually see how many skills that you are developing if you are preparing for an interview then you want to have a lot of different skills just try to make sure that you are not just solving one type of questions because more the number of skills you develop it is easier to crack an interview so this is a very neat dashboard and don't worry about your rank and the contest ranking because these rankings are based on the entire world you are not bothered about that you just have to focus on your interview so this is the very first step where you should start things off and now once you have everything ready and your account is set up what i would recommend you is to go on to the problems page now this is the part where i feel that a lot of people get confused and they are unable to understand where do i even start there are over 2000 problems on lead code and you may wonder that okay how many problems do i have to even solve before i can call myself a better coder or i can even understand that okay i am ready for the interviews even if you solve two to three problems per day even then solving all of these problems is going to take a lot of time so you have to figure out an effective way to pick up a problem which often has a higher chance of coming in your interviews correct so where do you start you cannot just start in a serial order and start solving all of these questions one by one right that will take up a lot of time and trust me not every question on lead code has a high quality some of them are poorly written some of them have bad test cases and you will just end up wasting a lot of time if you try to solve each and every one of them okay so what do you do now if you look to the right you have a section called featured list and you might be wondering that okay top interview questions this looks like a good place to start and indeed this certainly is a curated list and it only has 145 problems so one approach is that okay you can try to sort all of these problems by difficulty you can start solving the easy ones first and then go on to medium and then hard this sounds like a plan right and it will work best in most of the cases but even in this you have to sometimes determine what is the quality of the question there are additional metrics that can help you decide that is a question even worth solving or not for example just look at this question reverse integer so don't just start solving this question straight away just look at the number of likes this question has and the number of dislikes this question is liked by 9000 people and it is disliked by 11000 people so try to understand lead code is a community driven platform and whenever i see that a question has more dislikes than the number of likes i personally skip that question and it comes from experience as well i have often seen that in such scenarios either the question is poorly written or it has some ambiguous test cases or it will have some tricky test cases which were not clear from the problem statement itself in other scenarios these problems do not actually test your problem solving skills for example this question is asking you to reverse an integer and there are so many libraries out there which can do it for you so it is highly highly doubtful that your interviewer will ask you such a question because you have standard libraries exactly for this procedure and just solving this will waste your time so i would recommend you to stay away from them you can see more questions like this for example reverse integer was one and then you have one more question divide to integers 
once again just look at it 12000 people have diff like this because this question is not testing any of your problem solving skills it is just testing how well you are able to code or how well you are able to handle all the edge cases and how well you are staying within the limits and trust me this is not important from a coding point of view yes when you are writing large scale applications you might have to look for precision but then it becomes a whole different story and this does not become relevant for your coding interviews you will end up wasting so much of your time which you could have used to learn another new concept we can see one more problem for example power x to the power n so once again 7000 people have disliked it and what do you have to do you have to implement the power function now think about it do you really need to waste your time trying to implement this function when there are libraries out there to do the exact same thing for you and even in interviews your interviewer will allow you that okay you can use the standard libraries available to you the interviewer will be more interested in how you are approaching the problem and how you are getting to the solution using data structures using different algorithms and using critical thinking so looking at likes and dislikes this is one very important metric when you are selecting a question and you will often see that questions which have a very low acceptance rate and are in the easy or medium category they will have a lot of dislikes and that is just because the quality of question is not good so look at likes and dislikes and also look at this acceptance criteria this will give you some good measure that okay these are some good questions to solve for example in this list just sort by acceptance and try to solve all of these questions which have a high acceptance rate these are in fact good questions that you must target the next list of questions that i really like is the top 100 like questions and trust me this is a really really lovely list because once again lead code is community driven people like you and me are solving questions and based upon what are the good problems we upvote them right so these are the questions which are liked by a lot of people and it kind of gives you a current sentiment about what questions are currently being asked so no matter which problem you pick up let us say i pick up this problem then look at it 24000 people like it so this becomes a very good problem if you have to try and solve so one approach that i can recommend is try to sort all of these problems by difficulty and then start solving these problems one by one you can also sort them by acceptance so the problems with higher acceptance rate will be easier to solve than the problems with a lower acceptance rate because in the lower acceptance problems there might be some tricky test cases which you have to account for and trust me eventually you will get the answers just look at this problem search insert position once again 12000 people like it so this is in fact once again a very good problem to solve and you will definitely learn some new concept out of it so these are some of the metrics based upon which you can decide that okay this is one problem that i have to solve now let us actually pick a problem and see what we can do about it so one problem i really like is the merge intervals problem so as you can see merge interval it is a medium problem and it has a 46% acceptance rate once again you see it is liked by over 18000 people and if you had a premium plan it would actually show you okay in which all companies this question has been asked so this in fact looks like a good question to solve correct and once again do not just dive in first read the problem statement correctly and i will highly recommend you to check out these constraints first because if you notice in this problem you do not have to account for any negative integers i have often seen that people will come up with a question and they will try to solve for everything they will try to handle the null cases they will try to handle negative cases and what not and your input constraints they don't even talk about a negative number or null conditions so whenever you are writing code you do not even have to include those conditions because there won't be any test cases to judge your problem on that so read the problem nicely and try to understand okay this is how the input will look this is how the output will look and it has some explanations as well so always read them now moving further if you see there is a section called related topics so try to avoid them at first because i consider this section as kind of a hint think about it as soon as you click on it it will tell you that okay this question involves array and this question involves sorting so even before you try to solve the question it will get into your mind that okay i have to solve this question via sorting and this does not happen in an interview try to approach this question as you might be sitting in an interview itself so this is kind of a hint so try to avoid it 
And the first and foremost thing that you have to do is do not look at the solution directly. Always, always, always try to solve the question first. Because sometimes you might think that, okay, I know the solution. And if I work it out this way, I will get the answer. But trust me, when you will start to solve it, you will end up with some of the edge cases or you will end up in some other, other problem. So it is always better to get those problems out now rather than approaching them in an actual interview. You might have seen that in my videos as well. Whenever I explain the question, I always say that, okay, do try out the problem first on your own and then get back at the solution. Everything is ready now. Just select the language of your choice and then try to solve this problem. I recommend doing all of this in a local IDE because it is faster. And if you keep on submitting questions on lead code again and again, it slows down your judging process. So I believe that your local editor is faster. I use IntelliJ and that's really, really efficient. And if you check out the console, it will also tell you some of the sample test cases. The good thing about lead code is that you do not have to worry anything about how to make the input and how to get the output. You just have to make sure that you're ingesting your input array like this, and then you have to return the output in the expected format, right? So what I do is I go onto IntelliJ, I write down my code, and I expect that, okay, I will get an input in the desired fashion. I just output it, I put down my code over here, and then I run. And that is how I go on to try my code. From your editor, you take up your code, you click on run to test it, wonderful. And then you're gonna try to submit it. So looks like my solution was accepted. And now focus on all of these suggested questions. If you want to improve your skills further and solve more problems like this, this is a very good area because probably these problems will be a variation of the current problem. And it is very, very likely that your interviewer can ask these variations as a follow-up question. So if you like this problem, then try to do these follow-up questions as well. They will surely help you during an interview. After all of this is done, don't just hop onto the next question and go on to solve it. What you can do as one last step is just go into the solutions tab. In the previous versions of lead code, this came under the discuss tab. And now what you want to do is click on tags and select the language of your choice. For example, I want to do it in Python and then sort by the most votes. This will tell you the best Python solutions out there. For example, if you look at this, once again, this is the shortest Python solution and you can see they use sorting as well. If you go back and then let us look at some of the Java solutions. Once again, I find a solution. So first approach is sorting. And then if you scroll down, you see there is another approach using a tree set as well. So all of these things, they are really good. And you can come up with these different solutions to your interviewer as well. Trust me, your interviewer will be very happy knowing that, okay, you can come up with multiple solutions. Because when you're working in such a large organization and you have high scalable applications, sometimes you have to come up with different sorts of solutions and then figure out that, okay, this is the best way to go. And trust me, this is going to increase your chances of hiring. And then some new things that I have found on lead code that have been added in 2023 is one of the notes section where you can take down some notes as you're solving the problem. You have an autocomplete feature that works something similar on AI and ChatGPT where it can autocomplete the code for you, but all of these are premium features. And then you have different options to select the theme and font sizes and all of these editor options. There is also a nice black mode if you really like the dark side. Another section that you might want to check out is the similar questions section. So all of these problems, they would once again use the same concept that has been used in this merge intervals problem. So I think that all of this will help you to utilize your time effectively and you can select good questions to solve. I hope I was able to simplify how you can go about picking problems to solve on lead code. As per my final thoughts, I just want to say that everyone have a different criteria of selecting what problems are good. I just tried to share what was helpful for me and I hope that it can be helpful for you as well. If you find that any other method is better, do tell all of that in the comment section below. And as a community, we can grow together and learn from it. I am always open to new ideas. Also, do let me know one thing. What is your favorite feature about Lead Code? And what makes it different from all the other coding platforms out there? Tell me everything in the comment section below and I would love to discuss all of them with you. Also, let me know if you want to learn about some other feature of the Lead Code that I have not covered in this video. I will be glad to make another video on it. As a reminder, if you found this video helpful, please do consider subscribing to my channel and share this video with your friends. This motivates me to make more and more such videos where I can simplify all of these concepts for you. Until then, see ya.